Hey guys, welcome to the Honeydew Professor. Today we're going to be doing a toilet repair and I'm here to guide you through it step by step. Let's get ready. So the tools you would need to perform this task today are simply a pair of channel locks, a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver, and a sponge. We're gonna, we're gonna install a fill valve. We're gonna install a new flush valve. We're gonna install a toilet lever and a new supply line. So the first thing we wanna do in this process is isolate the water supply to the toilet tank. It's just, these are quarter turns, so it's just a simple quarter turn to turn this one off. Some that you have will, will, will take uh, two or three turns to close it all the way. And the next thing you wanna do is flush the toilet so all of the water is removed from the tank in, a, in one single flush. We have a leak here that we're going to be repairing. And as you can see, you still have some residual water that's left in the tank. And now we remove the supply line from the toilet tank. Then we remove the nut for the fill valve. After you remove the nut, we just simply lift the fill valve out. We're gonna discard that. And we can also take the chain off of the uh, flapper and the um, the toilet tank. We'll remove this chain and then we can remove the toilet handle. So the chain is removed and we just simply loosen this nut. Sometimes you may need your, your channel locks. You may need your channel locks to uh, loosen it. And this always turns counterclockwise. and it comes right up. So right now, I'm going to show you the um, bolts under the tank that you would loosen to separate the tank from the bolt. These are your bolts under the tank. You loosen those and it will separate the tank from the bolt. Okay, now we have separated the tank from the bowl. You can see what it looks like. And now we want to take this donut off and it gives you access to the nut that we have to remove to uh, take off the fill valve. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we have removed the fill valve and we're going to install the new fill valve. So make sure you take note of the direction that the fill tube was facing when you uh, removed it. So you just take the fill valve and you're gonna place it back in the same hole it came out of, all right? And then you put your lock, your fill valve nut on. Let's do that. After you put on your fill valve nut, 
then you're gonna replace it with the new donut that comes in the pack. And you just simply push that on like so. Let's do that. Okay, now we have the fill valve on and the donut in place. Let's go ahead and, and reinstall the toilet tank. Now, let's go ahead and install the new fill valve. This rubber on the end of the fill valve on this particular model was already installed. Normally, if you buy a generic fill valve, they're not installed already. You always want to install the uh, fill valve with the beveled end facing down. Hey everybody, another thing I want to remind you of is not all fill valves comes with the uh, flush hanger, flush valve hanger for the holes. So never throw this away until the end of your project because you might need to reuse it. Now we can go ahead and install the new toilet handle and you simply push in and spin. And that's how it sits. And then you put your nut on the back side. And remember, uh, install would be clockwise. And you connect your chain to your toilet tank lever and all your components are installed in your toilet tank. Now let's install the supply line. Okay, this new supply line is installed. Let's go ahead and turn your water back on. And it's filling up. Hey everybody, so the tank is full, but one thing I did want to mention is normally on your flush valve or in the back of the tank, you would see a, a water fill line. Um, a lot of times the fill valves don't come pre-adjusted. You want to adjust it to the water fill line so that the toilet operates as manufacturer standards. So right here on the fill valve is where you would make that adjustment. You turn it clockwise to raise the level and counterclockwise to lower the level. So we, we are gonna wanna make sure that our water level is adjusted to specs so that the, to uh, the toilet operates how it's supposed to. Let's give it a flush and see what it's looking like. Everything seems to be operating according to manufacturer standards. We don't have a leak uh, between the tank and the bowl like we did before. Everything seems to be good. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is a full toilet rebuild or repair. Thank you for joining us on The Honeydew Professor. Remember to hit that subscribe and like button. And you can also comment down below if you have any questions and I will get back to you with answers. Again, thank you for joining us on The Honeydew Professor.